I'm Lisa and welcome to my bed. Wait, what am I saying? No. Welcome to my channel where we talk a lot about health and fitness, how to stay lean, well, how to get lean in the first place and then stay lean 24 seven all year round and all that jazz. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and like this video to spread positivity. It helps out my channel a lot and it's a really good etiquette. Not to mention, I really do greatly appreciate it. As you can probably tell right from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about best bedtime snacking options in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. A sip of water but this this well not the Fiji bottle but like what's in this bottle is actually my best snacking option number one and if you think that I'm kidding I'm totally not because water is the best bedtime drink that, that you can drink ever okay to curb your appetite to put something in your stomach and go to sleep that's what actually what you should do before bed you should not be snacking at all I know what kind of counter it's intuitive and I maybe tricked you a little bit but my whole philosophy is I am very anti bad time snacking you know that if you watch some of my other videos especially on the topic of bedtime slimming it's just how it goes now before we get into all the other options that I have available for you in this video I wanted to point out that of course you know I was just curious what other people recommend when it comes to midnight snacking bad time snacking all this stuff like basically snacking before bed and the kind of options that I found were cherries that I have here of course like I don't have them right before bed right but you know I have them as a snacking option in my fridge just in case or I would see a lot of people recommend bananas before bed also I saw peanut butter like having like an apple with peanut butter yeah I would have to say that these three were the most commonly listed under like best snacking options I honestly was a little bit upset about that because honestly I don't want you guys to think that it's okay to snack before bed but there are certain times when you can do that you know what I mean and I certainly like you know I'm not gonna say that I'm the best at like health and fitness or anything well maybe I am but <laughs> But let's say, for example, if you had a really busy day and you did not have any chance to have a bite to eat at all and, you know, it takes you some time to get home and when you get home, it's already like around midnight and because you're starving, you need to reach for something, right? Like, it happened to me a lot of the times before when I had crazy days at work. Totally get it. Totally know what you're talking about. And of course, under these kinds of circumstances, yes, having something like a banana or some cherries or even you know something with peanut butter either a bagel with peanut butter or a slice of bread with peanut butter or even an apple with peanut butter yeah you can do that and it's not going to affect your metabolism it's not going to be stored as fat you can be rest assured that you'll be totally fine in the morning let's for example take a look at scenario number two let's say you did not have a heavy workflow and you were snagging throughout the day you had breakfast lunch and dinner and of course, a few snacks in between because you did not want to get your body into starvation mode. Oh my gosh, God forbid. So you were satisfying your body with all the nutrients. You used up all your daily calories for the day and then you get home, you take a hot shower, you get into your pajamas, you get in bed, you turn on the TV and then at midnight, of course, because you're awake and because you're just craving something, you want to reach for something to snack on right when you're watching your favorite tv show a movie what have you you're in bed you're relaxed and those cravings creep up on you and in that case reaching for that banana those cherries or those apples with some peanut butter would actually hurt you and would actually go against you and that's when they will most likely be stored as fat because it's just added calories that your body doesn't need and you're providing your body with energy that is not going to use because let's face it in a couple hours after watching that movie you're probably gonna go to sleep 
and you know you're not gonna move your body doesn't need all that energy especially peanut butter is very heavy and it has a lot of fat I know some people will argue with me and say oh but it's a healthy fat yes it is but it's still fat and it's still calories and these calories are very heavy calories therefore my favorite bedtime snacking options are pretty much liquids like empty liquids like water or seltzer you know bubbles I really like that there is a drink that I have the recipe on my channel and I'm gonna link it down below and at the end and that recipe is specifically uh, for those who want to slim down their waistlines and maybe tackle that belly fat if you have some because all the ingredients are really fat torching and really help with that specific goal if you are always lean and you have that extra 10 pounds that could help also just make sure to do it for at least 10 days every night and you will definitely see massive difference and of course just a quick disclaimer that I wanted to throw in here real quick before following anything that I share with you on this channel I just want you guys to know that I'm no health expert I don't know anything that I'm talking about make sure to contact your doctor before doing anything or applying anything that I suggest on here because you know yourself you know your body you know your health conditions everybody's different I share with you what works for me and what, what will work on a healthy person so now that we got that out of the way here are my best snacking suggestions I mean I already started talking about them we're just continuing so water seltzer I like bedtime tea you know sleeping time tea any herbal tea decaf green tea these are my number one go-to's if you know I have those little cravings around midnight so basically a rule of thumb I like to stick to empty calorie liquids because I don't want any calories to be stored as fat while I sleep you guys know I'm all about that bedtime sleeping and ultimately waking up with a flat tummy because it's just amazing so the best thing that you can do around midnight if you do struggle with those cravings you have to find a way how to combat them and here are a few things that you can do in order to do that I want you guys to understand that a lot of the times the food cravings that people get around bedtime are not actually meant to be satisfied with actual food because this is not a real hunger you know a lot of the times it is an emotional way of your body to deal with stress and anxiety and I talked in another video that I'm going to link at the end of this one in the cards about emotional eating and it's actually a very serious issue so if you want to check that out you totally can but instead of eating what I suggest try to deal with stress and anxiety using relaxation techniques and methods like breathing or meditation or bedtime yoga I'm gonna link it at the end too I have a really good one that I know you will enjoy or of course you can do some self massaging techniques that I also recommend on this channel and you can find them on my page here and of course if that's not your jam and if you would much rather read a book or take a hot bath absolutely go for that too or sit by the fireplace whatever it is that does it for you make sure to do it and the most important thing that I want you to take away from this video is to not keep junk food in your house because that's going to completely eliminate easy access because if you have it available and it's like midnight and you're craving something and you have a very weak willpower you are going to reach for the cookie or the piece of chocolate or that Snickers bar or whatever the case and it's completely not going to be beneficial to your fat loss goals at all so it's just the best thing to do is to not have it available in your house at all make sure to follow all the things that I mentioned in this video and you will be so happy with your body with how it looks with how you feel in the morning how energized you are how awesome of a sleep that you get throughout the night when you don't have all that like food sitting in your stomach and digesting while you sleep because it puts extra pressure on your body to do that and your sleep will be disrupted and honestly it all comes down to discipline so you have to exercise your discipline and then the body of your goals will be so much easier to achieve and that's it you guys here is the bedtime slimming yoga routine that I mentioned before this is my better die beat the bloats overnight method this is subscribe button and I will see you in my next video